Good Mass News is getting answers on the number of breakthrough COVID-19 infections among the fully vaccinated here in the Bay State. This as local agencies are balancing concerns over rising cases with attempts to reopen critical services. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us now live in Springfield with more on that. Audrey. So the Ray Jordan Center reopened today. The Clodo Concepcion Senior Center and Hungry Hill behind me are expected to open tomorrow for some of those vital in-person services that seniors have been missing due to isolation because of COVID-19. But with cases on the rise and the Delta variant on everyone's mind, these senior centers are implementing some strict safety protocols. I never let go of my mask. I always wear, when I go out, I don't have my mask. I say, oh, I have to get my mask. Eunice Cole has never let her guard down when it comes to COVID-19 precautions. Diligently masking up. Because that's a part of me now. I learned to live with the mask and getting vaccinated. She was one of many seniors who gathered at the Raymond A. Jordan Senior Center for lunch Monday, a grand reopening of in-person dining. I'm overwhelmed to even get back and after um, the COVID. The city of Springfield this week is reopening multiple senior centers despite the rise in cases across the Commonwealth. The director of the Clodo Concepcion Center explains the strict nature of the COVID-19 protocols even fully vaccinated people can expect on Tuesday. Just like the hospital, you come on in, we ask you questions to make sure that you're okay. Western Mass News found the State Department of Public Health has tracked 100 breakthrough cases of COVID-19 in Massachusetts that resulted in death. The median age of those who died is 82.5, and health officials say 73% of those who died had an underlying health condition. And of nearly 400 breakthrough hospitalizations, state health officials say 57% of those fully vaccinated people had an underlying condition. An infectious disease doctor from Bay State Health explains why that is. The level of protection uh, actually may be less. Uh, and that's the reason why, too, that booster shots are being considered uh, among these populations. The number of breakthrough deaths only represents about 0.0002% of all fully vaccinated people in the state, which healthcare experts say is proof that the vaccine protects most people. The other precautions, like the ones at senior centers, health officials say protect those with a less robust immune response. When you lose family members out of your family, because of COVID, you're always conscious, aware. Now, the seniors at the Ray Jordan Center today were expected to wear a mask at all times, except for when they were at their tables eating lunch. The senior centers elsewhere in the city are expected to follow similar protocols. And you can actually see there's a sign on the door at Hungry Hill behind me that is asking people to maintain six feet distance and wear a mask at all times within the building. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.